All right, people, Mr. Wright here with lesson 6.5 for clarinets and horns. Now, French horn players, we're going to help out our clarinet buddies. If the band director wants us to play along with the clarinets, that's okay. Or you can just play this on your own either way. But uh, we're going to just review these notes here and the fingerings are right there. Of course, the fingerings are the same for the single horn in these particular notes. So, um, but you know these notes. And also, uh, I realized that in the previous lesson, I mentioned, uh, I kind of called this note right here, C for Carl and the bumblebee flying right at you. Uh, and I didn't, I, I thought I'd already explained that, but I hadn't, I was thinking of another instrument, clarinets, I believe. But uh, we'll get to this story right here that kind of will help you to memorize the names of all these notes, all right? So we're going to start with uh, number one here, and I am going to need to kind of use both hands on the horn to have full control over it. And uh, so hopefully we'll get going here so you can hopefully follow along. And, of course, that first note is our high C. Uh, like so. So here we go. Number one. One. Two, three. Let's go on to number two. One, two, three. to number three. One, two, three. To find this note, we're going to do our five note walk up. Like, so, so we come back, your ear, you need to listen for that same F so that we can come right back to that same note right there. Here we go, number five. One, two. our notes are so close together you have to really listen for notes that reoccur like this is our resting tone or tonic and then number six let's go to that one so we might want to just walk up from our low c to that note all right and uh here we go number six one two three <laughs> Seven. This is just a C scale walking up. Ready? Here we All right. And then to the next page here. Let's see. It's easier to learn and memorize anything when you can associate it with some type of a visual. So we've got this high C, the B natural, A, G, F, 
and so forth. We know these notes fairly well, maybe. Uh, but now, uh, this now we have this. This is what I was talking about in the previous lesson, and I didn't realize I hadn't explained it already. This D right here, it looks like a water drop on the bottom of a branch. Imagine our staff right here is just a branch. So I call this water drop D. And then this C. C is for Carl, who's been cut in half by the deadly ledger line dagger. You know, a dagger that you, you know, ledger, a dagger that you throw. So this, I'm imagining that this little line right there is a dagger that's been thrown at Carl. He's been cut in half. Now, the bee looks like a bumblebee flying straight at us with his tiny wings parallel. See, here's his wings. That's the little bumblebee right there. Scientists say that bumblebees should not be able to fly. Bumblebees really don't care what scientists think. Now, A is for Albert. Right, here's her A, vowels one and two. And of course, these are, you can also play this with the trigger middle valve and with the trigger one and two. But if you wanted to use your trigger on a low G, you'd have to use valves one and three. That one's different. Okay. But let's just learn the, the F side of the horn for right now to kind of keep it less complicated. But A is for Albert who's been stabbed with a ledger line while another ledger line dagger sails just over him. They threw two ledger line daggers at him. Albert ducked, but sadly, the other ledger line dagger struck its mark. Okay, so that they threw one at him. He ducked, but the second one stabbed poor Albert. Hmm. Now, notice this guy right here. It's two ledger line daggers they threw at him, but... G is for Gary, who rolled on the ground to avoid the deadly ledger line daggers. As a trained fireman, Gary instinctively remembered his fire safety training, stop, drop, and roll. So Gary escaped both of the deadly ledger line daggers. So that will help you remember water drop D. C is for Carl, who's cut in half. B is the bumblebee. And low A, you know, is for Albert, who's, uh, in, see, letter A, Albert. And he's uh, one goes above his head, but Albert Duck, but the other one, ah, and then, but G, Gary, the fireman. Okay. So that's how you can remember the names of those notes down in the low register. And that's what I was talking about in the previous lesson that I had failed to explain earlier. But uh, so hopefully this exercise that we can play along with our clarinet buddies, the, these are old notes that fall under their fingers as they learn their low notes. They're having to learn how to seal off each of the tone holes in the clarinet. So this is a, a lesson we could play along with them to kind of help them along.